Hi, welcome to Kumar's Gaming. In this video we are going to review a premium Android game called Mystic Guardian. It is an old school role playing game. I have it for few days now and I do not regret the purchase. The controls are smooth and the story is entertaining like Japanese role playing games. Also, there are many skills to upgrade. The battles against the hordes of enemies that come ahead in this game game is fun. We can equip with 5 active attack and have a basic attack in this game. The basic attack is a 4 hit combo and you can perform different finishing move after each basic hit. The combos will eventually grow and more attacks will become possible by using as much combos available. The enemies in this game is really responsive and they can be stacked, knocked back and thrown into the air. You can also change skills and combo stacks such as 50, 100, 200, etc and hit combos and juggle multiple enemies with your attack in air. The fighting with hundreds of enemies for each mission can become a bit boring, if it is played for a longer session. But I really like the story, characters, humors, art style and side quests. The skill system is less like a role playing game and more like unlocking new skills in a devil may cry game. As for the monetization, there are many upgrades, weapons, recipes, summons, etc. that require premium currency of the game called Soul Stones. Aside from the daily rewards which gives you very little, the only way to get Soul Stones is to pay real money. Also, the final scenario of the game, the third story arc, requires that you have 30 of the things in addition to beating Ray and Kanan's campaign. The paywall is not much of a problem if you go through the game slowly. It is possible to collect at least 24 Soul Stones from daily rewards. By the time you will be finished with both stories you will have more than enough to finish the game. But if the player plays much faster and rushes into it without much currency, it will be quite frustrating. Nearly none of the in-app purchases is actually necessary to completing the game, aside from the 30 stones you need for the final scenario. Soul Stone are required for adding orb slots to weapons, but most weapons are so plentiful and disposable, even good ones that you won't have much need for doing this. It will be most likely that you will be positively swamped in solid gear and gold, enough so that the temptation to spend money for power-ups never comes to mind. One can easily get chest keys from playing raid mode, which will ensure that we can get decent weapons and armor as well. On top of all this, the crafting system allows us to make our own weapons, with unique stat boosts. One would never had to buy a weapon from a shop in this game, because the game gives them everything they need. It requires some premium currency to reach the final quest. This can be done with just the daily rewards, but you will have to wait like a month. If you're the type to blaze through games and focus on their completion, rather than the lackadaisical play I would do, you might end up just paying for it. As such, I would wager this game to cost around $4. This paywall wasn't there from the start. It came with a later added patch. Enough about the game. Now let's get into the video and see what I am doing. Currently the game is teaching me how to do the combos. Which I must say is really annoying as it looks more like a restriction than help. Finally end of the tutorial. The annoying text was not letting me move. As you can see here, the effects of the attacks are great. And it really looks cute to see such small characters running around and fighting each other. Unlike some games where leveling up is harder or is restricted by some nasty quest, and here the leveling up is quite easy. The map is a bit confusing for me always, but looking through the green entries usually gives me a clue on where to go from here, and most of the times. Well, I am not finding the gate of this one, let me just run around the wall to confirm. Yes! Found it!
Okay so I am in the underground prison passage. The horde of enemies will come to me in here as it seems. So I suppose it will be all hack and slash from here, till I reach the next part of the story. That is all from Kumar's gaming for now. Till then, see you!